The history of humanity is closely intertwined with the history of global pandemics. And what we've seen over the last hundred years is a series of global pandemics, one after the other, such as HIV, Zika, COVID-19, Mpox, H5N1 influenza. And that won't stop. We will continue to have pandemics and we will continue to need to develop countermeasures for the pandemics. The mission of the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research is to utilize basic science, particularly virology and immunology, to try to understand the pathogenesis of viruses that pose global health threats, and also to develop novel vaccines and therapeutic approaches to try to combat these global health threats. We take a multidisciplinary approach and we utilize basic microbiology, basic immunology research to try to understand the pathogenesis of global health threats, the immunology, and with that, we develop vaccine and therapeutic candidates, ultimately to help the people who need them the most. HIV has been a problem for many decades and still is a global problem in many parts of the world, more so in the developing countries. We haven't found the solution to this uh, very devastating disease, and so we're working on various concepts that we can hope will break through in terms of finding a vaccine that can protect people against the virus. And so the vaccines that I work on are actually vaccines that elicit what are known as protective antibodies. So to date, we don't have any mechanisms or any laboratory techniques that we're able to create vaccines that can induce these protective antibodies in vaccinated individuals. So we're working on using bioinformatic concepts, which can help inform our vaccine designs, which we are hopeful will elicit the types of antibodies that can protect against infection against HIV. The issue that were so obvious with the COVID-19 pandemic that we were not at all prepared. For me, pandemic preparedness is trying to understand what's really happening globally. And we work on multiple pathogens such as monkeypox, SARS-CoV-2, influenza, tuberculosis. And we are also focusing on other viruses such as Zika. And we're trying to make a vaccine that can be generalized for that group of viruses or group of bacteria and have a candidate vaccine ready so that whenever there is an outbreak, we would be ready to jump into action. Several years ago when I joined Dr. Baruch's lab, we were very interested in identifying what we thought may be the most protective vaccine antigens for tuberculosis. And we were able to perform a large screen of a large number of vaccine antigens. And hopefully we were successful in identifying what we think are the most protective ones. And we're currently in the process of writing a manuscript that will hopefully be published in the near future. We run both observational and interventional clinical trials. The observational clinical trials really collect from participants who are at risk or exposed to a pathogen or have recently had a vaccine and we observe their immune response after that. For our interventional clinical trials, we do phase one, two, three trials and we're really studying the effects of a new vaccine or other intervention for infectious disease. At the center, we have access to the necessary tools needed to conduct state-of-the-art research and generate data sets to investigate all kind of biological questions. Without these infrastructures, we cannot do research. So I'm very excited to be part of the center because as a faculty, I have access to this infrastructure, to mentorship, and to all these platforms, scientific platforms, uh, to run my assays and generate the data. And I do believe that we are on the right path for more success and hopefully develop more tools, more drugs, more medications, and more vaccines. We will for sure see more pandemics. I just can't tell you what they will be or where they will originate. I believe our center has and will continue to play an outsized role in our understanding of infectious disease and our ability to respond to global pandemics.